All right, I'm here. What y'all want to know about me? Hey, <laughs> it's your girl, Shani, and I am here to do a video, as I promised, right? Um, I figured before I even start doing different videos on YouTube, maybe I should tell you a little bit about myself. So I was thinking that maybe we could do um, 10 random questions about me so that you could get to know me because like, I feel like nobody knows me and how are we gonna be friends if you don't know me, right? Great. So here we go, let's get started. All right, so first question, where was I born? I was born in Richmond, Virginia at MCV Hospital. Um, I, but I didn't live in Richmond, I lived in Williamsburg. I moved to California for maybe like three months after I was born, but then I moved back and I've been in Virginia since, so I'm kind of ready to head out of Virginia by now. But, so yeah, first question. <laughs> All right, second question. What is my favorite color? It depends. Like, okay, like can I change it to what is my favorite color to wear because my favorite color to wear is black. I love wearing the color black. So I guess that could be my favorite color. Um, it's between black and yellow. I like wearing both of those colors. But if I ever wanna be chill, like if I ever had an opportunity to pick something, it would definitely be black. There's nothing wrong with all black. Um, what is my favorite food? Oh, I don't know. I love food. Um, but if I had to choose, it would definitely have to be macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese. I like making it. Um, I also really like lasagna. But can I say, I'm trying to always trying to change something around. My favorite foods, okay, so let's say we have breakfast, like lunch, something for lunch and dinner. So my favorite breakfast would have to be French toast and like if I had to choose like something, I guess to eat like randomly would probably be like lasagna or mac and cheese. My, my favorite dessert is cheesecake. My favorite kind of cheesecake would be white chocolate macadamia nut cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Mm, I kind of want some right now. But yeah, uh, that was more than what the question asked, but you know, I'm always doing a little extra. If you could go anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? The Bahamas, on a cruise. Like, Corona is messing me up. It would either, it would probably be definitely to the Bahamas, um, or uh, maybe Malta. I went to Malta when I was 17 years old as a United States ambassador with a bunch of other different kids and it was the most like, it was the most fun I've had in my whole entire life by myself, 17 years old, in the middle of Malta. Like, it was bomb. But it would have to be the Bahamas or Malta. And maybe I should probably plan a trip there once this corona jump passed by, but yeah. Okay, what is the process of your songwriting? Hmm. Well, I guess for me, because everybody's different, um, for me, like I, like I find a beat first, like if I, like something catches my ear and if the beat is like really good, if it sounds like something I could write to, then I'll use the beat and then I'll listen to the beat over and over again and I'll ask God, I'll say, I'll ask God like what he wants me to write about. My hardest thing about writing a song is what to write about, like what should it be about? Because it's not like rapping, it's singing. So I feel like when you sing a song, it should have like a theme and I'm pretty sure rapping is the same way, but, um, I like for my songs to have themes, and I always ask God, what do you want me to write about? What do you want this song to be about? I ask him for lyrics. I ask him to inspire me with his word. Like I ask him everything basically, because I feel like if I'm putting a song out there for people to hear like all the time, it should be something that God wants to say so that it can constantly um, be in their spirit that they can meditate on, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah what, that was okay. Um, Let's see. Do, 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 do. What's my favorite song? Hmm. I have a lot of favorite songs. I'm not gonna be vain and say any of my songs either. But I would have to say that one of my favorite, oh my God, I have too many favorite songs. 
Uh, can I change it to like what song I really like, like in worship? Uh, my favorite song that I really love to worship to is I Surrender by Hillsong. That song is bomb. If you ever, 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 ever want a good song to like listen to, I Surrender by Hillsong is the song. I love it. That's one of my favorite worship songs. That should have been a question, but yeah. All right. How old am I? No, I'm just kidding. I am 29 years old. And my birthday, I'm gonna just throw that in there. My birthday is November 6th. I was born in 1990. So I'm 29, I'll be 30 this year. 30. All right, let me not think about it too much. What is your go-to hairstyle? Woo. A twist out, I'm always gonna do twist out. Um, I don't really like braid outs, but I also have not done a braid out in a long time. Um, but something that I always will do that I know will work for sure is a twist out or like a flat twist out. So that's when you take two strands of your hair, you just twist it together, let it dry, you take it loose, fluff it out. This is what I have now, twist out. This is like my signature, like just curly. Um, but I do, like if it was possible for me, and for some reason I know it would never work, but I would always, I would like stay natural, but I would always get my hair straightened. Like I would keep it straight. I love when my hair is straight. It's easy to manage, like I just, I don't have to twist it or anything like that all the time. But if I straighten my hair too much, it gets damaged and my curl patterning like changes and I gotta do all this stuff to kind of get it back healthy. Um, so yeah, twist out definitely. Um, if it was by choice, it would always be straight. Natural still, but straight. So yeah. Okay. How did you and your husband meet? Hmm. This is a long story. But if I, I can, let me see if I can shorten it up. Okay, so Zach, Zach, we met um, at a play that he was in. He was um, on stage and I was in the audience. And um, I saw him on stage and I was like, man. And there was a part on in the play where they were worshiping and they would have like an altar call. And I was like, yo, this white boy is up there really acting like the part, like he was worshiping, like he was going in on worship, all this, like it was crazy crying. I was like, man, he's really worshiping. Um, after the show, come to find out that he was um, a minister. He was like the minister of the church that um, I actually started going to once we got together. And um, yeah, we, so I saw him that night and I was like, God, is this, is this my husband? Is this, this the one? And you know, I didn't really think about it. And I text, um, our pastor at the time, I text her and I was like, you're a youth, I was like, you're uh, the guy that, you're a minister or whatever, you're a youth minister. <laughs> I was like, is he like courting anybody? And she was like, no. And I was like, mm, okay. So I was just like, well, you know, if he's interested in me, then, you know, I'll hear from him, you know, cause you know, that's how it is. You know, you got to play cool a little bit. But secretly, I was like, you know, this guy is fine. I was like, I need him to hit me up. Um, so Thanksgiving, uh, my parents had to work. And I was invited to our pastor's house for Thanksgiving. And he was there. And I, when I pulled up, I saw his car out there. And I was like, yo, he's here. I was so excited. And um, so I got in there. And I had my niece and my nephew with me. And... Um, at that time, my niece was like maybe a couple months old and my nephew was playing with other kids. And I remember us being at the table and we were talking and I was like, do you have kids? And I was just asking him about himself and he was asking me about myself. And um, that night we were all like a group of us, a group of us, can I talk? A group of us was supposed to go to the outlets for Black Friday shopping. And um, I went home to go change, drop the kids off, came back there and everybody had dipped except for him. And I was like, well, you know, we can still go if you want. And, um, oh, before before I left, he had put his number in my phone. Yeah, he played it off. He put his number in my phone, and I, you know. And so we went to the outlet, and we talked all night long to, like, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning. And then we came back to go pick me up. We'll pick my car up so I could go home. And we sat in his car, like, for hours and just was just talking about everything. It was, it was... It was pretty cool. It was amazing. Um, and we've been talking every day since. 
got married, you had a kid, and all that stuff. Um, but it's so crazy because when I think about like that time, it was just, it was really good. I remember just like the feeling like I got when I saw him and just to see him like preach and to teach and to lead worship and to just be in love with God. It was just, it was amazing to see that because I didn't think men out there existed and here he came along. So yeah, that's how we met. Woo, that's how we met. <laughs> okay, this question is, when will you be releasing new music? Soon. We'll be releasing new music soon. Um, of course, you know, I'm part of a group called Camp Friends. And um, we just released an EP, Days at Camp. So if you haven't heard that, you need to go listen to it. Days at Camp. You can find it on um, iTunes, Google Play, Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, all that. Like, you need to check this out. Um, but, so we just did that. But as far as like my own, I have been working on some music. I have three songs that I'm working on. I'm waiting to get two of those back and I am waiting to, in the, I'm in the process of recording one. Um, so yeah, and I'll probably be releasing those hopefully um, this summer. One of them is like a beautiful like wedding song that I thought like people would love and it's gonna look like nobody getting married freaking this summer, but because of this Corona, but we ain't gonna talk about it. All right, next question. This question it says during this time of quarantine what type of self-care tricks do you do to keep yourself sane girl no um i like to do my makeup um like i like to get dressed up and go out and stuff like that but since i haven't been able to do that i've just been doing my makeup just sitting out or to record youtube videos like i did today i don't know if you can see um my makeup today but i did it I'm learning how to do my makeup for like in the future when we go on tours and stuff like that. I can just do my own makeup. But hopefully I'll get to the point where I'll just have somebody that can always come with me and do it. But it's really therapeutic to just do my makeup and to learn how to do it. I watch YouTube videos um, of people doing it like to kind of teach me. Um, but yeah, that's another thing. I watch YouTube videos of learning new stuff. It could be about anything. I have this obsession. Um, I have this obsession. You know how some people are like, some people are like obsessed with like hearing people eat and like ASMR. I really like seeing people get like massages. Like I like giving like massages, like scalp massages. This is really weird. Don't judge me. Um, but I like watching people get massages. I like people, I like watching people do their hair. I like watching people do their makeup. I like learning like how to do stuff and it kind of relaxes me. I meditate. Um, I go get in my closet and sometimes I'll just lay there and just let God speak to me about whatever it is I'm dealing with. I'll take a nap. I'll clean the house. I watch movies with Judah. Or either I'll um, talk to my friends. I mean, I pretty much do everything that everybody else does. Um, so yeah, that's what I do. Um, this quarantine has really taught me a lot about myself. Um, and self-care is what we need. I also give myself facials. I exfoliate, I give myself a facial mask, I, I'm like just, I give myself nutrients, I drink water, I eat healthier sometimes, <laughs> I know but I, I um, the number one thing I can suggest is reading the Bible, getting in your word, and praying and meditating on the word because in this, mo in this time, we really need that, like we really need to hear from God and be in God's face, so. That's what I do. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, I hope I didn't bore you too much. Um, that was my uh, questions about me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I uh, entertained you. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Like, I'm doing this thing where I'm trying to, like, just do just videos, I guess, to kind of get myself out there so people can know who Shani is because a lot of people don't know me. Like they, you know, I, I feel like a lot of people haven't, they don't take, well, I'm not gonna say they don't take the time, but a lot of people don't know me pretty much. And this is just my thing now that I have the time to do an about me. Yeah. So um, if you want to see more videos, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see. I can't go thrifting, which I would love to do right now. Um, 
to miss it. But anything like you want to see hair videos, makeup videos. I'm still learning how to do makeup myself, so they might not be perfect, but I mean, it's something. Uh, <laughs> um, cooking videos, anything you want to see, I'm doing them. And keep it rated G, PG. Like, don't be commenting on no crazy stuff about videos of what you want to see me do. Okay, I'm out. I love y'all. Peace and stay healthy. Stay sane. Stay in the face of God and stay yourself. I love y'all.